Welcome everyone, out of the woo here. Today's adventure brings me to Disney Springs. I am in the Lime Garage on the top floor, the fifth floor of the Lime Garage. Usually I, uh, I park over at the orange structure, but today mixing it up just a little bit, I had to go to the Orlando International Airport, return the rental car I have been using for the last few weeks, and get another for the next couple of weeks, give or take a day. They will not let you, a rental car will not let you, company will not let you have the same vehicle for more than a month, so couldn't just extend it. But I digress, traffic below me is pulling in to the springs, and I'm gonna take the Ampha car, which is half car, half boat, and go out onto the water. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? You can see the constant flow of automobiles don't be deceived by the empty parking lot over there. That is set up for something other than guests. And take a look at the queue for World of Disney. The line for World of Disney is rather lengthy. And there are plenty of stanchions down there. They, they were cones. Here's a nice little artistic angle through this grate. I'm creating a hidden Mickey right there. You pan out, you can kind of see what what I was utilizing. Yeah, that was that was an accidental hidden Mickey. I like that. At this particular moment, the balloon is grounded. Although the weather looks pretty decent, so it probably will be flying as the day progresses. But look in the distance, that's Spaceship Earth over there. You can see that really well from up here. And the Guardians of the Galaxy future attraction building in the distance there also. Oh, I see Mickey over here. I see Mickey. He's not so hidden. He's right here. You guys doing some calisthenics? And there's Mickey, right there, following the procedures. This is an entrance I rarely walk into. Nice. I just have to purchase tickets from the boathouse. The way it works is they, these are the amphicars right here, and they're gonna go along this little contraption here that goes in a circle. It's gonna take me straight down, down the amphicar launch. I wonder which one of these is gonna be mine. Went ahead and purchased my tickets. The cost was $125, but you do get an AP discount. $114 was the total. Looks as if it's going to be a really nice day for this. Also, over here at Gideon's, which just opened a few days ago, there is quite a line for that as well. Even with the even with the mobile callback, the queue is rather lengthy. Hello again, alligator crocodile. No, not the Shelley Long movie, Hello Again. I just meant to say Hello Again. Yeah, that's right. You have a friend with me over here. Nate Paging Mr. Morrow. Hey, friend. Who is also going to do the Amplicar along with me. I'm excited. And you also, on the way in, booked us a reservation for where? Gideon's Bakehouse. Gideon's Bakehouse. Yeah, it just opened, I think, uh, on Christmas Eve. On Christmas Eve, and this is... The little postcard that they give you. And then here's some of the item. What was the wait time that we have to wait? 150 minute wait. But think, thankfully it's a virtual wait list. All right. You hear that, Gator? We're gonna go to Gideon, and we're gonna ride the Amphitar. He's napping. Every I bore him with my talk. The sea serpent does not need an Amphitar. He kind of, he already kind of floats across the lagoon, the waterway here on his own. Yep, this Lego sea serpent has been here for as far back as I can remember. It's from the early 90s, back when it was Disney Village. Yeah, old school Disney Village. All right, hey everybody, we're going. We're going on a boat ride. Woo, taking off. Right into the water. Here we go. Whoa, flash down. Nice. Look right up there. Oh, wow. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're on a boat right now. Is this technically a car or a boat? It's a car. It's a car yeah. that turns into a boat. Here, you're leaning into that turn. Dramatically, but that's where you're yeah, almost like, like the water's the right boat. there. The rock in the boat. There's the balloon. Right over there. Awesome. <laughs> This is the 
boathouse outdoor diving area. different ones are there? Eight. There's eight total vehicles. There's the paddlefish. over there waving, they would think I was a lunatic. Yeah, well I'm going to start waving in close proximity. That's, that should be a new thing. We, we just wave. <laughs> it's, not, it's weird though, right? It is weird. I'm going to start doing it though. Yeah. I'm just going to wave when I just don't feel necessary. This <laughs> is the lava lounge. I haven't seen the volcano erupt in quite, in quite a while. This is a nice little little tiki tiki bar lounge. Oh, I've never been over here. See, everyone's waving. See how? Hello. Wow, that's cool. I like the theming in there. Whole lake to ourselves. Right we got the whole lake to ourselves. Yep. Pretty good. How fast do these go? Not very fast. Not very fast? About five or six miles an hour. Oh, here we go. Oh, Give it some go. gas, Captain. Oh, 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 oh man. That's good. That is, that was intense. So that was five miles an hour? Yeah, about that, yeah. So it got a, a lot of noise, it doesn't go very fast. When this baby hits five miles an hour. I felt like we were going a lot faster. It felt like it, right? Yeah. It's all an illusion. Oh. We no longer have the lake to ourselves. Does this lake have a name? Uh, technically it's the village lake, but a lot of people call it Lake Buena Vista as well. Lake Buena Vista, okay. But it's technically village lake. I don't think the balloon is operating today. I don't think it is. Yeah, we got Saratoga Springs over here. That's a DBC resort, right? Yep. Yeah. This is all the Congress Park area in Saratoga Springs. There's not a single palm tree on all of Saratoga Springs Park. Really? No yeah. palm trees? Yeah, because there's no palm trees in Saratoga Springs, New York. So. I've they... never even known that, but that's an amazing fact. So it's based on Saratoga Springs, New York? Yeah. Oh. They have theme of horse racing and stuff like that. I never knew that. No palm trees. Uh, the story I heard was that Michael Eisner's wife was uh, obsessed with Saratoga Springs, New York. Once. 
that played into them deciding on to do this one. So is that, this has been here since the Eisner days? Yeah, this was uh, 2004 was when they started converting it from the Disney Institute to Saratoga Springs. So tell us some interesting facts. About the cars? Uh, they were all built in the 1960s, between 61 and 65, and they made about 3,800 of them in the 60s. They say there's only about 150 or so that still work in the water. And you guys have eight of the 150? Yeah. Eight of the 150. What's that emblem for? Uh, that's a German castle. It's uh, where the cars were made in Germany. They all have castles from the area that they were put on. Amphibious car? Yeah. So how do you pronounce it? Amphicar? So, Amphicar is the name of the company that made it. It's the Model 770. And that stands for theoretically 7 miles an hour in the water and 70 miles an hour on land. Okay. 770. Yeah. That makes sense. Well, that's really awesome though. That's easy to remember. The good old 770. The fastest car on the water. I want to see one of these take go on land at 70 miles an hour. <laughs> there is a large congregation of fowl over there. Just doing a little sunning. Disney Springs. Formerly Pleasure Island. Formerly Disney Village. There was another name that it had between Pleasure Island days and Disney Springs days, but it only lasted like a year. It was called something else, but I can't recall what it was. It was called downtown Disney for a while, but pre that it was the Walt Disney World Village. Walt Disney World Village, okay. Yeah, and then the Village Marketplace over there, and they added the west side over here, it became downtown Disney. They were originally going to retheme Pleasure Island to be Hyperion Wharf. But Hyperion Wharf, that's what I was thinking of. Hyperion Wharf. And that, that happened right around 08 and everything, so the whole crash of that kind of scuttled that. And then a few years later, they started making it into Disney Springs. I think it makes more sense to have everything called Disney Springs instead of having three separate sections like it used to be. It's a lot less confusing just to have the one name. So the, where's the boat dock? What do they call that? So this is the west side over here. The middle section here is the landing. That's where the boathouse is. The far area where all the Disney and everything, that's the marketplace. And then where like the big Christmas tree and all the shops and everything are, and close to the blind garage is the town center. Okay. The good thing is if you were on land, you wouldn't be able to look back at me and talk like you have been because there would be traffic coming. But right now we got the whole we got the whole lagoon to ourselves. And the steering's really good too, so. So no matter how much you steer it, it just kind of keeps going straight. <laughs> almost. You almost think it was on a track. But it's not. No. Oh, there it goes. Okay, we're veering off. It's just not the most responsive thing for it. Do the gauges still work? Um, right now, most of them are disconnected, but they I have seen them work. <laughs> How are we looking on gas? Uh, right now, it says we're empty. We're empty? Yeah. So, well, well, we're staying. We're done. I don't want to I don't want to get out and swim. That's no. not on the agenda today. Uh, one of us needs to get out and push, okay? Okay, Nate, you get out and push. I'll push. Get out. I'll paddle, you guys push, okay? <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> we're going to make it. <laughs> I got the engine going again. Yeah, good thing I did the balloon the other day because today is a little too windy for it. Balloon last week, and the amphicar this week. Oh, there's water popping up on the hood there. Splash it up. Rain without 
a cloud in the sky. So. <laughs> that rain can sneak up on you though. Real quick in these parts. I don't think that's gonna be an issue today though. <laughs> Great out here. Going in. Just gotta remember, I think I can. I think I can. I think I, can. I, think I, can. I think I can. I think I can. It's about a 25 minute ride, give or take? It's uh, roughly 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Normally we have a little bit more traffic to deal with out here in that composition. I like that horn. I'll let everyone know we have arrived. Now, do you go full speed up the ramp, or do you just kind of really? It's sort take... of a mountain goat that just drives it right on. Okay, we're going up. Here we go. Give it some gas, Captain. Go, 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 go. Up to the landing. Go, 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 go. Ooh, look at that thing. We had a crowd waiting up here. Woo! We made it! They're not that excited. Thank you! <laughs> and now this is spinning around, doing a full full circle here. Look at this. All right, now Gideon's, our reservation for Gideon's is accessible. Even though we're on the, we were returning from the virtual wait list, there still is a very lengthy line to get in even after being called. The theming in here is totally on point. Look at the illuminations going up there across the bookcase. It's like a creepy library of sorts. I bet this guy wants to sink his fangs into a delicious cookie. And here are all the cookies right down here in the case. We got chocolate chip. We got the limited edition. It doesn't have a name on it. They have a peanut butter crunch. These are our flames. Um, These are flames. You have to reach through to get your cookies. Oh, I reached through the flame. Okay, I can reach. Oh, there you go. Okay, I reached through here. Grab the cookie. Thank you. And this is what we're dealing with. Look at look at this thing. This is it's got a lot. There is like this is the weight of this is probably what are you thinking? Maybe like a pound, yeah. a pound of cookie dough, and it's got some. I'm gonna say avocados, but I didn't get avocado. What what was the pistachio? Place? Pistachio. You can't see them in there like that. I can't see, look at that. They're on top of there. That is what a pistachio looks like. Yeah. Mm. Oh man. It's good. That's really good. I can taste this pistachio. Wow. Perfect amount of everything in this. That's gonna do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. Helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future uploads here on this channel. If you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know you care. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.